Hello good people, Assalamu alaikum, I hope all the video well and now in this video I will show you how to connect MySQL with raw PHP. So all you have to do, you have to download and install a Jam Local Server and then Sublime Text Editor and then set up local server with your project guys if you have any problem with setup i request you to see my previous video that is how to set up local server for php so here is a download link of jam that is apathyfrance.org slash download.html and here is another link of uh, sublime text that is sublime text.com slash 3 so you can download from here after down after download the installation and setup you have to open your server I mean gem server and start your Apache module and then MySQL and then open your sublime text so let's start type jump and open the jump controller and here is our jump controller panel so start the apache we have to click this button and also you have to click this button to start the mysql and then let's minimize it now we have to try sublime text to open so here is your sublime text now all I have to do I have to create a folder in jam server I mean I have to create my project inside the jam server so here is the address of jam server all your project you have to create in stdocs folder so that you can work with the jam server so create a folder name mysql enter and open it with the sublime text and create a file name is sql connection dot php enter it and now we have to create or write your the basic structure of PHP file so it's the basic structure of PHP file and now I have to open my uh, MySQL so we have to open your now we have to type localhost PHP my admin and you see there here is a link of MySQL database and enter this link <coughs> you see here is your PHP my admin I mean MySQL database structure now first of all I have to create a database to click this new button and name the database my database my data is and click the button and you see here is our my database now that's it let's back to the PHP file now you have to connect this file with the SQL database first of all you have to type a name that is server name server name and also initially another value that is username and then either one is password let's write the database name we create our database name in localhost localhost and then our username username will be wrote and the there will be no password and also we have to create a database 
and our database name is my database database my database that's it now we have to add another variable the name is connection and we have to uh, create in we have to write the function name that is my sqle and first of all we have to add the word server name and then we have to add username and then password and then we have to put the database name that is database and that's it now we have to uh, write a if if else statement to check whether the connection is right or wrong we have to check whether the connection have any connect error or not and connect error is the built-in uh, function that will work and now we have to add die function and write unable to unable to connect and add this error connect error right connect error right and after this it will be print a statement working that database connection success fully and let's save it and open it let's type localhost slash my sql slash uh, sql connection dot php enter and you see there is a problem that is connect php network line number 30 okay let's back to the uh, uh what is the problem what is the problem okay we need to add a l after add the l let's save it and open the browser and refresh it again again see our database connection successfully okay uh, now we can create a table from here and also we can uh, retrieve data from the database okay now create a mysql table uh, by this uh, php file so first of all you have to create a variable that is name is table and equal to and type create travel user we can write it is a small letter user and then that's it now we can assign different type of value here like a like as id int and we can assign the very value so i skip this word uh, so here's a full table uh, we can see we had a, a id we had a name with a email we had a uh, register registration date and um, we also add their type so let's save it now add a if statement that is if connection i mean connection means this connection this connection to a query and the query variable will be this table if is it true then if is it true then it will be a uh, print
stable cater successfully successfully else it will print error with with connection error that's it let's save it and open your browser now type localhost slash mysql slash sql connection dot php right enter and you see uh, the table created successfully and now check it from the mysql refresh it and you see here is our user table and we can see here is id name email uh, registration date so here i we mentioned id name email registration date so now we can say we are successfully done with the mysql connection with php so this is how we can connect our uh, php file with the sql connection and thank you guys thank you so much for for watching <laughs>